Welcome to Port St. Lucie. Uh, this is Professor Teferro for um, English Grammar, and uh, we are going to examine Lesson 12 tonight, which is complex sentences. In our last lesson, we learned simple sentences. Uh, we probably already know how to do simple sentences. Uh, I run, I talk, I do this, I do that. It's two word sentences or three word sentences that are very simple and easy to write and easy to understand. However, when you move from uh, simple sentences to complex sentences, um, you will uh, be doing something that's a bit more sophisticated, uh, something that uh, the average high school student might write or a college student might write. And uh, then you'll be writing in the language of um, a higher English skills. So let's learn some of the basics of uh, complex sentences. First of all, the most common part of a complex sentence is a prepositional phrase, uh, which is introduced by prepositions. You already have learned prepositions. You already know what prepositional phrases are. For example, to the school. To is the preposition, the is an article, and school is a noun and the object of the preposition. So when you have a sentence that says something like, I am going to school, I is the subject, am going is the verb, and to the school is the prepositional phrase. Um, this is a complex sentence. Um, however, uh, you can make your sentences even a bit more complex by using words like which. Um, I am taking uh, medicine for my cold, comma, which is something I need right away. Um, that's a complex sentence. Um, you can use that. Um, I have a um, need for vitamins that give me extra energy. Um, these are basically including two um, ideas in a sentence and making your sentence more complex. Um, it's not a compound sentence, but it is making your sentence more complex. So uh, I would recommend that you move from simple sentences to complex sentences. Don't try and jump right into uh, compound sentences and um, long, wordy, um, complex sentences. Keep it simple. Keep your communication as simple as possible. And with that advice, we'll call that a night, and I'll see you next time. And this is Professor DeFerro from Port St. Lucie wishing you a happy and healthy day. Bye-bye.